Hi, I'm Keith Cooper from North Light Images and in this short video I'm going to show an example of printing on poster board on this the Epson P900. You'll notice that um, I've got the roll unit fitted at the back here. It's got no paper in, uh, which is just as well because when I load the board from the front it's going to go right through this and come out the back here. And uh, one of the reasons wanting to show this is just to show an idea of how much space it takes when you're using the printer. Um, remember that it would work just the same if I hadn't got this unit at the back, but the card is still going to come out. And uh, that's quite important because if the card comes out and hits the wall, um, it doesn't do the printer much good. And uh, I have seen this happen and it comes out at a fair old force. Anyway, let's just load up some card into it. I'm using Epson Enhanced Matte Poster Board, um, A2 size. Uh, you may have seen an example I used A3 plus size using the Epson P700. Well, this is very similar. Uh, the printers are quite similar and certainly very similar from a print quality point of view but uh, I will just set up an image on the computer, send it over after we've loaded the bit of card. I'll start the process off by pulling out the loader here. It comes up and asks me, do I want to load fine art paper? The disc tray for doing CDs, DVDs, or at the bottom here, poster board. I'll put poster board and it will now configure the printer ready to load. I'm gonna to have to put the printer paper in here at the front and set these slides. After a minute or so, the printer is now ready to go and is showing me an animation on the front here, or a, there's a guide and an optional animation that tells you how to load things. And it's quite useful if you've never used it before. Run through it once, you'll probably never need look at it again. But anyway, I'm printing at A2. So I'll move the guides here to A2 size, there's A sizes on this side and inch sizes on this side. Here's my bit of poster board. Quite thick. We're just going to place it on the guide. Notice I'm just putting my finger on the guides here at the side because they do slide out quite easily. So I'm just running it through, pushing it in, and we push it right the way through until it lines up with the marks on the guide here. Now, swung the printer around here uh, for the paper to go in so that you can easily see how much the paper come, or card in this case comes out the back. Uh, remember that as I originally had the printer set up the wall was about this far behind the back of the printer. For some reason it goes through its loading and then it asks you are you sure that it's loaded correctly. I'm not sure why it does this twice, but I now have to click that confirm. I'm asked what the paper is. It's archival matter is the default for this and A2. It's obviously picked up here, so I don't need to change anything. We'll set that and it now tells me it's loading paper. And we'll see what happens at the back of the printer. And here it comes. quite a distance out the back and as I said the wall was about here when I first set it up. So we've got a fair old distance coming out the back here and that would have not reacted well hitting the wall. Anyway I shall move it back and uh, this is one of the points where having your printer on a table with wheels on it helps. I'll move it round it's not going to come out any more out the back, but I can now set it up and I can now print from the computer. Now I've loaded an image, black and white image, of uh, the cathedral steps at Wells. Now 
This prints perfectly well at A2. I've got some other prints I'll show in the review where I've printed A2, this, this very same image. But I know it's a good image. It will print okay on Epson paper. I'm using the ABW mode for printing, the black and white mode. By far and away the best way of printing black and white on this or the P700, or even if you've got a black and white mode of it on almost any printer, it's invariably better than trying to print using ICC profiles. Um, the black and white mode just works better. See my black and white articles if you're unsure why or how to use it. There's a lot more information on the site. Anyway, I'll click print and um, we'll have to wait for things to happen. It would also help if I'd remembered to pull out the tray at the front. Now the board's not going to come out, but I know that from experience, but you don't know when, and certainly when you're doing a print um, paper loaded from the front here, it's possible for it to drape over the front and pull out. So we'll just put this here for safety purposes. It says it's receiving data and we should see some movement at the back here before long. Now the roll unit slowed here, as I said, there's no roll paper in it because otherwise the card would have hit the roll paper. And I can see the card has gone straight through it. And here we have, as the card is now starting to move through and we're printing. And I can see on the top here, because I've got the light switched on and there's a clear window at the top here, I can see the print starting and the print looks fine. We now just wait for it to print. It uh, tells me seven minutes here to print, which is quite reasonable for an A2 board print. And I can also switch the display to see the image that's being displayed, being printed, I should say. And there it is. I mean, it's the same image that's on the computer over there, and it's the same image I can see being printed here. So all is well. Here's the leading edge of the print coming out. Um, you can't print borderless on card like this. Um, there's always an enforced border and it's uh, slightly smaller than what you see for this image here. The printer's nearly finished. It's saying one minute there. Um, normally these display here is quite accurate. Uh, the only times I ever have any issues with it are uh, because I'm using wireless to connect at the moment and for big images it can sometimes slow down a bit. Normally I'd use gigabit ethernet but for the testing of this particular printer I decided to use wireless. Um, it's coming from the laptop there, wireless through the wireless router back to here. Um, depends on who else is using the wireless and uh, obviously elsewhere in the vicinity. This image, by the way, it was taken with a Canon 1DS Mark III, so it was only 21 megapixels. I've used Gigapixel AI for resampling it to make an A2 size print, and it works really well. Um, the amount of detail that you get in large prints like this. But anyway, if you're interested in increasing the size of pictures to print large like this, have a look at some of the articles I've written about using modern software for enlarging old images. Um, can bring life to old images that you thought you couldn't print at a decent size. I've printed uh, images from my Canon 1DS, which is a uh, mere 11 megapixels at this size with modern reprocessing software. Anyway, I've got loads of that on the website. However, it says we are done. There we go. And there are the steps at Wells Cathedral. I um, hope that's been of some use. Uh, really useful being able to print on board this size, uh, seeing how long it takes. But do remember the space at the back of the printer. Uh, this and walls don't react well together. Anyway, thanks very much. Bye.